After 30 years of being ruled by a single party, Montenegrins are at a crossroads. For the first time since a multi-party system was introduced in 1990, the Democratic Party of Socialists won't be forming the next government, and many are worried. Today I came to the capital of Montenegro with my friends and my family to support our state, to help many people remember what their ancestors did and what they died for, and that is for justice, honour and the freedom of Montenegro. Supporters of President Milo Djukanovic and the DPS rallied by the thousands on Sunday. They were alarmed by what they saw after the August 30 elections. Serbian symbols and the three-finger salute that accompanied the opposition coalition's declaration of victory. I think people have gathered here to support peace, harmony, tolerance, rather than Serb nationalist interests. We all live in harmony as brothers. We don't need divisions in Montenegro, and because of that, I support Milo. I am against any other flag being waved in our country, be it Albanian, Bosnian, Serbian, Turkish, German, any other, except for the Montenegrin flag. DPS is pro-Western and pro-NATO, and saddled with corruption charges and accusations of becoming increasingly authoritarian. The pro-Serb, pro-Russian parties that ran under the banner for the future of Montenegro are likely to change course away from the West and towards Moscow and Belgrade. Djukanovic accused Serbia's president, Aleksandr Vucic, and the Serbian Orthodox Church of interfering in the election and in an attempt to revive greater Serbian nationalism. The real fallout from the election is yet to be seen. Ethnic minorities that depend on Montenegro's stability and ethnic harmony want to make sure they'll be protected by any change in power and from any repeat of the past. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.